What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here. We're about to find the x-intercept of each one of these quadratic functions. They're in different forms. That first one there is in factored form, which is the easiest one to find your x-intercepts. I just need to set my two factors equal to zero and solve. So I'll have x minus three equals zero. I'll add three and I'll get x equals three. I have x plus seven equal to zero. I'll subtract seven, I'll get x equals negative seven. So my two x-intercepts are three comma zero and negative seven comma, zero. Woo! One down, two to go. Next one, perhaps the trickiest one because of this lead coefficient. I need to set this function equal to zero. So I have zero equals two x squared plus five x minus three. Now I need to factor this thing. All right, and with a lead, with a lead coefficient, it can be kind of tricky. We do what's called a rainbow method where I'm gonna multiply those two together. I got negative six from that. I gotta add to five. Well, what's gonna do that? Positive six and negative one. Now what I can do is I can break this apart with the factor by grouping. So I'm gonna have zero equals two x squared plus six x minus one x minus three. And I'm gonna take the first two and group them, the last two and group them. And now I gotta take out my GCFs, greatest common factor. Two x squared plus six x, I'm gonna take out a two x and I'll be left with x plus three. Here I'm gonna take out that negative one, I'll be left with x plus three, excellent. These two are the same. That's actually a GCF from these two terms. I'm going to have X plus three, and then I'll have two X minus one. Now I can take each one of these factors, set them equal to zero and solve for X. So I'll have X plus three equals zero. Let's come back up here. X plus three equals zero. I'll get X equals negative three. And I'll do the two X minus one equals zero. Add one, divide by two, I get X equals positive one half. So my two, X intercepts are gonna be negative three comma zero, and I'll have one half comma zero. Boom, two thirds of the way done. Love me some fractions. All right, onto the blue one here. This is vertex form. It starts out the same as the standard, aka general form, with setting it equal to zero. So I'm gonna have zero equals three parentheses X minus one squared minus 12. But now I gotta solve a little differently. I'm gonna use a strategy of solving with square roots. You could foil this out, X minus one times X minus one, but it's already in this nice little packaged up form for us. I'm gonna add 12. So I add 12 and I get three, and then X minus one quantity squared. Now I'll divide by three to get four equals x minus one quantity squared. And now I can square root on both sides to get plus or minus two equals x minus one. With this, I'm gonna set up two separate equations, okay? And I'm gonna work over here a little bit. We got x minus one equals two, so I'll get x equals three. And I'm gonna have x minus one equals negative two. So when I add one, I get x equals negative one. So now with these two values right here and here, I'm gonna have three comma zero, and I'm gonna have negative one comma zero for my two x-intercepts. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I'm talking about. 